So peeps, earlier Vega Tech and after about a month of using the Galaxy S24 Ultra, we've learned quite a lot about how to maximize this device. So today, we can share with our thoughts and why we think it's still the top notch in its category. One of the first thing you will notice when you hold the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the grip. It feels more chunky or boxy compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. A number of people in our team immediately noticed this difference the very first time they held the device. So yes, I would say that's a significantly noticeable change, very conspicuous. You can actually feel the weight difference between the two despite the Galaxy S24 Ultra having a lighter titanium chassis compared to the aluminum material of its predecessor. Titanium is stronger but also weighs heavier. This means the device can be thinner but it's still equally or more durable than the aluminum counterpart. Aside from that, there's not much that has changed to the Galaxy S24 Ultra from an exterior standpoint. The case of the S23 Ultra would not fit the S24 Ultra so that is one other indication. Otherwise, it would be hard to spot the difference unless you hold them both at the same time. For iOS, the volume rocker and power button are found on the right side, USB Type-C charging port at the bottom and along with the primary mic, speaker grill, SIM slot, and stylus. Left side is clear except for an antenna band, and up top, you have the secondary mic and what appears to be an air vent hole beside it, which used to be found at the bottom of the S23 Ultra. The Galaxy S24 Ultra continues to have the same IP68 rating for dust and water resistance for up to 1.5 meters in under 30 minutes. Just don't push your luck by bringing it to pool or ocean since that could prove disastrous to any phone. The S24 Ultra comes in different colorways. Titanium gray, titanium black, titanium violet, titanium yellow, titanium green, titanium blue, and titanium orange. And among them, we like the black and violet colors more. Color availability will vary per region. The Galaxy S24 Ultra has one of the largest display in the smartphone marketplace. Well, that's if you exclude the foldable phones, so you will really see how big this 6.8-inch AMOLED display is. The Quad HD Plus resolution goes up to 3120 by 1440 pixels, but you can manually set it to HD Plus or Full HD Plus to get better battery performance in exchange for a lower pixel density. Nevertheless, you get a very bright and adaptive refresh rate that goes up from 1Hz to 120Hz depending on the usage. You can also set the standard refresh rate of 60Hz if you want to save up on battery life. The S24 Ultra has a rather flat glass display compared to the S23 Ultra which has somewhat curved edges. This added to the blocking look of the device. Speaking of which, Samsung worked with Corning to create new glass material they call Gorilla Glass Armor and claims times war more scratch resistance. The always-on display supports multiple widgets when you tap it. Music, weather, today's schedule, next alarm, voice recorder, digital well-being, routines, and smart things each of which you can choose to enable and reorder in any way you want. While you can clearly identify the primary speaker grill at the bottom, the secondary one up top is hidden, except perhaps for the air vent hole beside the second mic that drives much of the sound from that area. Overall, the sound quality of the S24 Ultra is above average. Crisply not too loud but good enough for playing music or watching movies straight from the device. And when running a Dolby Atmos test, the bottom speakers are obviously louder while the top speaker is more dedicated to the bass sounds. The usual biometric functions are still here on top of the normal pin or password security, fingerprint, and or facial recognition. Despite the large size of the device, using fingerprint unlocking is quite easy and fast, but facial recognition is much faster so we prefer the latter. Jumping to the camera section, Samsung's quadruple camera setup on the Galaxy S24 Ultra are among the most compelling features that many users always look for with every new generation. Generation. The primary camera seemed unchanged as before. The 200 megapixel sensor has a size of 1 over 1.3 inch with a 24 mm wide focal length, 1.7 aperture, multi directional PDAF, laser AF, and OIS. The second camera got a significant change a 50 megapixel with 111 mm focal length, 3.4 aperture, PDAF, OIS, and x5 optical zoom. This replaces the 10 megapixel periscope camera with x10 optical zoom on the S23 Ultra in favor of a bigger size sensor. This means you can still do 100 times digital zoom but with greater detail. We're curious what this update means to the 100 times optical zoom of both devices, so we tried shooting a few samples. In this first image, we're zooming into the printed text on the box of Magic. The gathering and see how the 100 times zoom performs between the two. You will notice the 100 times zoom image of the S23 Ultra is less saturated and there's a lot of bleeding around the edges of the letters. There's also better contrast with the S24 Ultra's photo. In this second photo, we shot a small bumblebee toy from about a meter and a half away. We zoomed in on the head and took a photo of the eyes. 
I'm sure you're a bit surprised that the 100 zoom on the S23 Ultra looks a bit closer compared to the zoom on the S24 Ultra. You will notice that the zoom on the S23 Ultra has more sharpening while the S24 Ultra looks brighter. So take note that the aperture on the S24 Ultra is larger at 3.4 versus 4.9. So it's able to shoot at shorter exposure times of 1 over 15 versus 1 over 30 on the S23 Ultra. Then there's also another telephoto camera, somewhat similar to the old model 10 megapixel, 2.4 aperture, 67 millimeter focal length, dual pixel PDAF, OIS, and time three optical zoom. Finally, the fourth one is an ultra wide camera similar to before, a 12 megapixel lens, 2.2 aperture, 13 millimeter focal length, 120 degrees field of view, and dual pixel PDAF. The Galaxy S Ultra lines has one of the most powerful optical zooms, and the S24 Ultra continues to match the capability with a times 5 optical zoom and enhanced with AI technology. Combined with an optical image stabilization and low light capabilities, you can take really clean and vivid shots from afar, just like this one we got from the match between the Houston Rockets and the Utah Jazz at the Toyota Center in Houston City. And you can record videos up to new HD 8K at 30 frames per second or go slow motion with 240 frames per second at 1080p or 120 frames per second at 4K. Here's another example of x1 and x5 zoom capabilities of the S24 Ultra. Even in low-light scenarios, taking the x10 hybrid zoom still gave pretty decent shots just like the one we got here in the Toyota Stadium. One UI 6.1 comes pre-installed on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Think of it as One UI 6.0 plus Galaxy AI incorporated in it. Samsung suite of native apps are pre-installed here. Samsung Store, Use, Gaming Hub, Members, Global Goals, Galaxy Shop, SmartThings, Samsung Health, Samsung Wallet, PenUp, Find, and TV. The only bloatware we found during the boot up is the Microsoft Suite trial of services and the LinkedIn app. Galaxy AI is a collection of AI-assisted services, both in device and cloud AI powered by Google's Gemini. These are mostly unique search-related features that allow better user interaction. Take for example, Circle to Search. When activated, the user can simply draw a circle around any object in an image or photo, and the Galaxy AI will provide almost instantaneous, relevant, and actionable results. What's new to One UI 6.1 is the addition of AI-generated wallpapers, which is a nice touch in customizing your own wallpapers with assistance from AI. There's also generative edit which allows you to alter photos by relocating subjects or objects around or completely removing them from the photo itself. And one cool feature is Live Translate which allows your voice calls to be translated in other languages in almost real time. Great thing about it is that the other party doesn't need to have a Samsung phone or Android phone so even a feature phone or landline call can benefit from the live translate. Everything is handled by your Galaxy phone itself even without an internet connection. And there's more. Note Assist, Chat Assist, Transcript Assist, Lock Screen Widgets, and Quick Share. One of the most surprising and historic moves for Samsung is the announcement of up to 7 years of security updates and OS upgrades for the new devices. Perhaps unique to the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the built-in stylus or the S Pen. This is a nod to the decades-old Galaxy Note which has been discontinued since February 2022. The S24 Ultra holds the distinction of being the only smartphone to continue offering this accessory along with a device and it's perfect for note-taking, scribbling, or even drawing. A number of people still find the stylus an essential tool for productivity and true enough, it brings a ton of features. As a regular stylus, you can use the S Pen for annotation and sketching with its 4096 pressure levels. The S Pen is also connected to the phone via Bluetooth so it can be used as a remote trigger for the camera. Regular features such as air view, screen of memo, direct writing input, and visible pointer are all present along with the items in the air command menu. With the Galaxy AI, additional features for the S Pen include circle to search, summarizing, and note assist, although bear in mind that the circle to search requires internet connectivity to work. Powering the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset instead of homegrown Exynos 2400 that Samsung is using for the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus in the Philippines. This is paired with an Adreno 750 GPU, 12GB of LPDDR5X RAM, and 512GB UFS 4.0 internal storage. These are all ingredients for a very powerful device. While normal usage are smooth and snappy, the performance can really be noticed in more intensive tasks such as video encoding, gaming, and multitasking. Our synthetic benchmark scores show how powerful the device is. So playing games from as simple as Mobile Legends up to more intensive games such as Genshin Impact showed no signs of lagging, stuttering, or frame drop. The device tends to heat up a little bit, though it's not to worry about the temperature jumps are small and manageable. 
leave it to Samsung to offer you the widest connectivity options available in a smartphone. You get dual 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, NFC, GPS, and Wi-Fi 7 support. And because of the close partnership between Samsung and Google with the Galaxy AI efforts, the Samsung Quick Share is now integrated with Google's nearby Share. That means compatibility with other Android devices from here on. SIM card configuration can be either set to SIM 1 plus SIM 2, C1 plus eSIM or dual eSIM. The battery department can be a bit of a struggle for Samsung as it remains unimproved since the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Samsung got stuck at 5000 mAh battery capacity for the S23 Ultra. The battery charging also remains the same at 45 watts since the S24 Ultra, along with the 15 watts wireless charging capability and 4.5 watts reverse wireless charging. Nevertheless, expect the Galaxy S24 Ultra to perform very well in the battery department lasting the entire day if you use it heavily but can last up to the next half day with moderate use. In our PC Mark battery test, the device scored 15 hours and 53 minutes on a single full charge at 50% brightness, zero volume, and in airplane mode. This is likely better than the Galaxy S23 Ultra when we tested it last year. And in our video loop test, the Galaxy S24 Ultra lasted 28 hours and 5 minutes, playing a full HD video at 50% brightness, zero volume, and in airplane mode. Again, better than the Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you're a heavy gamer, we tried playing two rounds of ranked game in Mobile Legends, which lasted for about 15 minutes each. And it took about 4% in battery life each round, at 50% brightness, 50% volume, and with Wi-Fi turned on. So that's roughly about 6 hours and 15 minutes of game time on a single full charge, so not bad, right? <laughs> so now we come to our conclusion with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra continues to be Samsung's best-in-class flagship smartphone. This has been a steady pace for several generations, offering the latest and most powerful mobile chipset, material design, display technologies, and camera performance. While some may look at this year's incremental upgrade as a bit underwhelming compared to the S23 Ultra, the S24 Ultra leaps better if you're upgrading from the S23 series or earlier. And besides, no other smartphone manufacturer has a contender quite like the S24 Ultra. With a starting price of 84890 it's indeed a hefty price tag. You still get the best smartphone Samsung can offer. Given the enormous, exquisite display, impressive performance, and powerful cameras, that's money well spent. And if you're coming from the S23 Ultra, the odds to upgrade to the S24 Ultra are 50-50. But if you're using an S21 Ultra or S22 Ultra, there are plenty of reasons to get upgraded to the latest S24 Ultra. So that's it. If you find this video informative and enjoyable, please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also share this video as well and you can comment and suggest to us what you want to see on our next video. Don't forget to follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or X, and visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Earl, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!